quantum darkness here. What you're looking at is a background for an animation that I'm working on. And I, I started off with a simple background, which is uh, what I should do because uh, animation takes such a long time. You should, everything should be very simple. But I got a little carried away and I spent um, a lot of time on, on this drawing, but that's okay because I was, I was just having fun. I haven't done this sort of thing in a while. Uh, but I'd, I'd see things that I wanted to go back and change. And uh, the thing that I'm seeing now that I want to change is if you look uh, at this uh, shoreline here and this line, which I, I guess is, um, I guess you call it a shoal, which that's the, uh, uh, this is basically just kind of a thin layer of water over some like wet sand and, and some foam up here. And they kind of form two lines, which is uh, which is great because when they converge off into the distance, it gives you a little perspective and gives you some uh, depth to the picture. Uh, the thing is, so I, I don't think I got the convergence quite right. I think my perspective is off a little bit. Now there's uh, techniques you can use uh, to figure out the perspective, and um, I'm I don't know much about art. Um, probably if I'd uh, taken a class, I'd probably uh, I probably would have known how to do this, but I um, but I didn't, so I had to I had to go figure it out, and I thought uh, maybe I'd go ahead and make a video uh, in case there's any other amateur artist out there that uh, need to figure out how to do this. Now uh, the techniques I'm talking about, they use um, uh, the ones that I know about are uh, for straight lines that are perpendicular. And this is kind of an irregular shape, so uh, here's the way I figured out how to do this. This took me, I don't know, it was, it was over an hour. It took me quite a while to figure this out. But anyway, this is the way I would do it. Um, you draw your lines there the way you would want them in the foreground the distance they, the way you would think they would look when you know, you're sitting at the beach and, and right where you are at the beach this is how they look and then you'd use the uh, perspective techniques to figure out how to converge the lines off into the distance so you'd start with this drawing and the next thing you'd do is you would um, draw the horizon line which is very easy in this picture because there's actually a horizon in the picture so I can just uh, I can just use that there we go now um, what I'm gonna do is this is kinda this is gonna be my baseline I'm, I'm gonna try to from this figure out where this uh, line should be a show line I don't know what you call it um, I'm going to do is uh, try to break it up into uh, polygons and then use the perspective techniques on the polygons. So I'll start with this one and what I'll do is, is I'll, um, I'll try to get a line segment which will approximate uh, the shoreline, uh, part of the shoreline. So I would think somewhere around there and take it out to the horizon there you go and now this straight line kind of uh, approximates the um, roundness of that shoreline there and it uh, defines my first vanishing point and where I want the uh, foam to be Take that out to the other vanishing point. And this is going to be in a two-point perspective, so I need another uh, vanishing point, which I'm going to put on the opposite side, and I'm just going to draw a line. Just I'm just going to pull it straight down, and the other line is going to be defined by um, where this straight line kind of uh, diverges from the. Uh, from the drawn curved line. Which would be right around here somewhere. 
and I'll just pull that straight out and we've defined our first polygram poly polygon which I'll um, outline now outline it in white because um, when I'm looking at it in the uh, other layer uh, since it's using dark colors the white will show through uh, a lot better and I'll be able to use it for a guideline okay so we have our first poly polygon drawn and it's in perspective now if this was a cityscape obviously you could have like a road going down that way and everything would be pretty easy to draw and this is per perpendicular so uh, we'll just break this up into different polygons and do it the same way. Now, what if the lines weren't perpendicular? That's what we're going to do next. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing, just approximate a line segment. And, um, create another vanishing point which would be about right here I'd say all right now there's um, I have three vanishing points now but this is still two-point perspective uh, it's just that each each one of these polygons uh, is defined by two points, so it's still two-point perspective. Uh, Three-point perspective is, uh, deals with the height. Okay, now if this was a cityscape, uh, you'd have a road going this way, and uh, if you had a road that was not perpendicular, and it came in off at an angle like this, uh, that's you'd draw it the same kind of way. You'd... Uh, it would have its own uh, vanishing point for that orientation, which uh, I think a, a I think a famous example of that is the uh, Flatiron Building in New York City. I think it has two streets which uh, uh, which converge like this, and I guess that's if you want to draw that, that's the way you do it. So let's just continue. There you go. Now if you um, if you look at this shoreline here, uh, the one that I drew, you can see the the one that the uh, technique is suggesting is, is quite a bit different so it looks like this was a it was a good idea to do this now this last line uh, is so short it looks like it can be pretty easily drawn as a straight line up to the horizon so I, I don't need to draw from the other point since it's on the horizon and it uh, would be like that there you go so uh, I have now a pretty good guideline, I think, for how it would take those um, two lines to converge. I'll go to the other, there's the other layer, and I'll be able to draw the uh, new line following that guideline right there, and I'll go back and change it. Well, I'll come back and compare the two pictures. Okay, here's uh, the modified picture. Uh, there's the old picture, the new picture, 
old picture, new picture, and there's a split screen. I don't know, I think it looks better. I think it's worth uh, going through the trouble of figuring out the uh, perspective and everything. Um, I'm going to put some uh, links to some uh, good YouTube videos on perspective in the description. Um, and then I guess I'll go back to uh, working on the animation. Who knows when that ever is going to get done. I uh, hope you liked the video. Um, thanks for watching.